Have a look at this beautiful uh, free-form sculpted serving tray. You can use it for breads or meats or whatever. Um, I'm going to show you now how to make this using the Arbitec Turbo Plane or the Arbitec Mini Turbo. Okay, so here we have a, a nice piece of olive wood which we've cut to length. Um, I'm going to use uh, uh, the Mini Turbo or the Turbo Plane. You can use either for this tool. I'll probably mostly do this with the Mini Turbo Plane. So here I have a drawing, a rough drawing of what I want it to look like. Um, basically I'll have a handle at the top and a tray sort of at the bottom. Uh, so we'll have a lovely bread basket. From the top it'll look roughly like this. This is what I'll be looking for. So I'll start by machining a nice flat surface on the bottom and that'll give me a nice reference point for where the handle is going to be. So we'll just machine that flat first. So here I have the turbo plane set up on a grinder. Um, I've got it set up so that it's just proud of the guard. Now it comes in the packet with washers so you can set that up and that allows me to lay this completely flat and plane it flat. You remember there's no cutting edge on the outside so it's a very very safe easy to use blade. Won't pull away, won't bite into the wood. So as I lean it over it starts to cut. Um, a, a very very fine cut as you lean it over until I can lay it down completely flat and plane the surface. So I'll now just plane this down. Now, a beautiful thing about the uh, turbo plane is it leaves a beautifully smooth surface. I mean, straight off the tool, it's like it's been planed and you can get it incredibly flat. So uh, now I'll draw the, sh the rough shape onto this surface and this will be the base. I'll turn it over and then I'll shape the top. Now I'm just drawing the rough shape on the base. And remember with this sort of work it doesn't have to be perfect and it doesn't have to be symmetrical. In actual fact if it's not symmetric it, it, it helps show that this is handmade not made on a machine. So I just get a rough shape here for the outside of the platter and that gives me the rough shape of the inside of, where, of the actual base that it's going to sit on. So I'll go in about uh, two inches so this inner shape will be the actual base that it sits on and this outer part will curve up slightly. So what I'm doing here now is I've got the oval shape of the, of the tray and I'm just machining it straight down to follow that ov rough oval shape and that just gives me the basic shape. So I'm just going to go straight down. Okay, so here's the, uh, the rough shape. So now I'll be turning it over and working on the top section. And here I'm going to do a sort of a neck here for the, for the uh, uh, handle. And I'll perhaps curve this over here so that there's a high spot in the center and a nice shape going down. Um, what I'm doing here is just running a line along the base rim, which gives me an idea of where I'll shape the base up to. So what I'm saying is I'm going to curve the bottom from this point here up to there. I'm going to taper that up, maybe a curve, a gentle curve up to that point. Above here will be the top of the, the, the platter, but that from the underneath this means that this is the part that it'll sit on and from here it'll curve up to this line that I'm just drawing now. So now I've, uh, I've roughly shaped the, the bottom. Now I say roughly, you don't, don't need to worry too much about the detail because as you get uh, closer and closer to your final shape you can, you can trim up all that detail. So even if you make a mistake with this tool there's no such thing as a mistake, it's just a new shape. So you just, just blend that whatever shape you get into it. What I've done now is uh, 
Um, I've just roughly sketched where I think the handle should go on from the uh, above view, and I'm now going to sculpt down and uh, bring out the handle looking from the top. Um, so now uh, we have this profile, we have uh, this, uh, uh, the, the scallops taken out for the handle and now what I'm going to do is cut these corners off here to get the shape of the top of the handle. So now what I'm going to do is uh, hollow out under the, uh, under the handle. Now to do this, the perfect tool for that is the mini turbo which is on this shaft. That'll allow me to get right in there. Now I could do it with the normal turbo plane just by eating away carefully um, and doing it like that. But this, this does allow me to get right in there and do some uh, cuts that I probably couldn't do with the turbo plane. Now the beauty of the mini turbo is that it also won't cut on the outside perimeter. So I can ride it on this bottom surface here without fear of damaging that. And that will act as a guide while I go in there and start cutting. All right, so I can ride on that surface. Well, I'm pretty close to the shape now. What I'm going to do is use the turbo plane just to round it off and get very close to the shape now. So that's the basic shaping done. Um, now I'll just use sanding just to, uh, to do the fine shaping and the finishing. Uh, so I've finished the shaping and the sanding, so now it's, uh, all that's left to be done is to put some olive oil on it. Use olive oil because this will be used with food, um, and it is olive wood after all. Um, so I'll just put some olive oil on it and that'll be the finished item.